Champions fighter. We'll see. It seems so. And uh, yeah, there we go. I was uh, watching uh, Marcus up in the locker room. He seemed to have good balance. I like the way he moved his hip. He yeah. seemed to have a bit of a schooling. So. And you know, in a normal ring, I think height advantage would go a long way. But yeah. in this type of ring, yeah. I mean. But if he can keep exactly, Pavel on the outside, exactly. he has a huge yeah, advantage yeah. because he can reach Pavel from anywhere yeah, in the ring. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a yeah. good right hand right away from yeah. uh, Marcus. Oh, oh, another right yeah. hand. Pavel took a solid, yeah. solid backhand. There. I can tell you, Pavel is a tough guy. That, those were some proper punches. Marcus seems to be enjoying this. Oh, oh big oh, good right there. hand from Pavel. Another right hand, yeah. He has to watch out. Oh, oh good, good, good yeah. left hook there. Marcus seems to be a lot more uh, with it, like in, in, the, in the close quarters. He keeps his hands up and yeah. Pavel seems to be yeah. dropping his hands a little bit too much and that's why he's getting caught now. Yeah, he seemed to have more of a schooling. I was noticing that when he was warming up. I like the way he moves his hip and stays in balance. Marcus has uh, tasted blood now, he's yeah. going in for the kill. But those punches are very close to his face, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. they are, this oh, is a yeah, yeah. wild fight, this is fun. Any one of these guys can land the right punch at any moment right yeah. now. Yeah. Ah, good double jab yeah. there from Pavel, he knows how to fight. Change of stance there as well by Pavel. I don't think it makes much difference in a small ring like yeah. this. But yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that was oh. a good jab oh, back to the front end. Jab, yeah. I think he was hurt a little bit from the uh, the clinch there. Yeah. He seemed to let his let his hands down as if it, it, it was over, and then he got caught a few times. Yeah, he seemed satisfied with that one. That's or. Just getting checked out now. That's a proper cut. And uh, <laughs> Mark is looking like a savage with blood all over his chest. <laughs> yeah. As a fighter. Ready, ready to go again. Yeah. Uh, Pavel can't oh. stay still. Oh, that was a good right hand. Yeah. This is where Pavel wants to be. Here is a, oh, oh, another good left hand. Again, uh, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. a good victory good, good, for good Marcus. Fight. Respect to both fighters. Absolutely. Marcus was uh, just on, on form there. Yeah. For all you guys watching back home, look at his face and tell me that's not a fighter. That's yeah. a tough guy. That's a genuine tough guy. That's not the kind you you see on the street fighting. That's a real tough guy. Yeah, good, good effort by both both there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's see if we get can get some replays on those knockdowns. And 43 years old, going up fighting. Yeah. Go, and here we got it. Yes. Good left hand. Then he lands a good right hand for Pavel. Yeah, Marcus fighting smart there, yeah. just waiting for them gaps to open. Oh, that was a good right hand yeah. by uh, Pavel. Marcus seemed to like oh. learn each time. You know, he knew exactly what he had to do, and uh, it was uh, what works. Yeah. yeah. And it's those short punches. You don't want to look for yeah. the big punches. Just uh, exactly. turn your hips. Yeah, you want you want to get your punch in before the other person. Like that sounds obvious, but when someone's swinging, you yeah. you want to make your punch, your punch nice and short so you catch them first. You know. Absolutely. And there are no gloves. Short punches hurt. Yeah. You don't need to land the perfect shot to knock your opponent down. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, applause here for. Pavel, well, well earned. Yeah, nice cut, nice look. Yeah, yeah. But awesome second fight. Both fights so far have been really good. Yeah. I hope it's knockout you're looking for back home because that's what you're getting here. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, in a ring this size, you have no choice to uh, get involved. So. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's the best, it's the yeah. best form of fighting for sure. Yeah.
And you can see the wrapping is on uh, Marcus' hands. There's going to be a lot of cool pictures of him. Yeah. Keep, keep them for the souvenir. Yeah. That's what I do. As Absolutely. Well each fight. Absolutely. Yeah. What an experience going up fighting like this. Exactly. And uh, also, uh, another thing I want to mention, this referee, he's doing a good job. Yeah, because exactly. It's not easy to stay away from two fighters in a ring that's this small. Exactly, yeah, he's doing his job perfect there, yeah. Yeah, in most, in most rings, the referee can just stay in one corner and just be comfortable. Yeah. In this ring, you're not comfortable anywhere. He has to move, and he's a big guy. So, yeah, credit to yeah. him for uh, moving around and keeping the... F uh, the fight's clean because he's done a good job so far. Yeah. It's also, it's actually a, quite a bit of a benefit to have a, to have a good uh, big referee because uh, they yeah, can definitely. go in with another kind of authority. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and it's so important. Important. The moment as a referee you step in, if another fighter throws a punch and you're not doing it with authority, like yeah. that can be on you because maybe you step in at just the wrong time. Uh, and also being comfortable stepping into punching ranks with these guys. If they try to, if they miss a punch and almost land at the referee, they land at his chest. That's yeah. <laughs> actually a benefit. Here we go, announce the winner now. Yeah. And here we have it official. Marcus is the winner. And I hope you guys back home are enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. What more can you want? Blood, yeah. blood and fighting. Awesome. And